everything that I've been looking into and everything that I've been exploring is all part of the same thing, which is where technology is heading and how exciting it is and the impact that it can have, especially for things like storytelling. So I kind of just wanted to start with, you know, a bit of a story. And this is a story that's that covers me across the years and across the ages. And what we're seeing here is that as I scroll through just on the Photos app, not a special thing, that actually we get to something where we can tell these beautiful stories in new ways. And I think that the most amazing thing that AI is doing at the moment is because it's not human, then it's able to take what can be our egos and remove us from the situ remove us from images now you may see me scroll here and think oh that's all the same person but actually it's kind of not because this person becomes everyone they become more feminine they become more masculine they get older they take on different shapes they have different eye colors um they have different jaw structures they wear different hats because we all wear lots of different masks and when you put a bit of yourself into this stuff and it's able to use the data that is on your device that you have kind of been training on it since you had that device through the games that you play potentially through the photos that you take through the music that you listen to that will go somewhere and i'm someone who's just stayed within as much as possible a single ecosystem because it's just simpler for me i don't want to have to deal with lots of logins i don't want to have to deal with all this other stuff i just want simplicity and by keeping it all in one ecosystem and knowing that there are neural networks that can operate on device and then mesh together with the other devices that I've got around me, it kind of gets really exciting. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's the it's the power of this technology to tell stories in a way that make them relatable to anyone means that it's inclusive, it's accessible, and it can be free. Um, I have family members who were really impacted by COVID and being able to take a single blog and put it in and see how it weaves together a story has made me cry more than once because what you end up with is a stunning patchwork of intricate detailed pictures that each one could be me i didn't put in blue hair but it knows that i've had it at times and maybe a little tinge at the moment hello um but it's just the way that this invents things that i don't think you could get a human to output in quite the same way because humans are kind of conditioned by the rules that we've learned and things where we've developed certain styles or we've tried something and it's been too hard and so we don't keep on trying but with this like you can take you can take your bedroom and reimagine it in a million different ways and take your desk and reimagine how it looks in ways that actually keep your information safe and use little tips in films like the duke which are all about generative ai and all use generative ai to find ways to tell other stories in amazing ways and i am the most excited about what this technology can do because I've seen the power of it 
and what I think the real power of it is, is that it's helping us to see that actually the most important data that we have is our data. And we have been freely giving it away for years and companies have been making lots of money from that. And it's kind of time that we rethought that and actually rather than using social networks to try and get our voices heard, which granted, yes, I'm doing that right now, but it's more about like connecting with people in the real world and telling stories or sharing stories that are actually the stories that we find the hardest to tell because they are the stories that are worth telling. They are the stories that help to change things and that help people to understand where someone's coming from. Through the stuff that I've been looking into where you take a few objects, you take a drawing, you take something from your lived experience and you feed it into a brain that knows you more than you know yourself and then you ask it to create art based on that and what you end up with is something where you get removed from the story even though it's still your story by removing yourself from it then it's just game changing because you suddenly see things in a completely different light if you've ever had someone say to you i wish that you could see the world through my eyes or i wish that you could walk in my shoes or you need to see something from their perspective we find that so hard to disconnect from ourselves and to project into something else and we project our biases into people that we see and things that we do because that's just what how humans work machines don't necessarily have that same bias they only have bias because we give them bias with things like this when they've been built by people who've thought about it in the right way and who care then It's just a game changer and we are at the dawn of this amazing, beautiful time that could also be really dangerous because, let's face it, we've all seen Terminator and we've all seen films like that that show the worst of these outcomes, but we've not necessarily looked at the best of these outcomes. And the best of these outcomes is that through these tools, we can share the stories that we find hard to tell. We can share the stories that people just can't imagine or can't put themselves into because what you end up with in things like this is you end up with images where it could be anyone here by adding a mask over the situation it can actually help us to understand ourselves a bit more and that to me is beautiful.